Yo, what's good everyone? Dunks are nice, back with another sneaker custom video. I'll be customizing a pair of the 1999 Nike Dunk Highs, the Golden Rods, into a pair of Wu-Tang Dunks. Wu-Tang is an American hip-hop rap group that was formed in New York in the year 1992. They released their album, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, in 1993. Fast forward to the year 1999, they did a collaboration with Nike, releasing a friends and family exclusive Nike Dunk High pair. The colors were the same as the Golden Rods, yellow, and black primarily but it was a total of 36 pairs made as of 2020 travis scott who is to blame for the resurgence of nike dunks and the hype of dunks in general to say rocked the pair in his latest collaboration with mcdonald's now that i got some context for the wu-tang dunks let's jump right into the sneaker custom here are all the products i'll be using to make this custom the base sneaker I'll be using is a pair of 1999 Dunk High, the Golden Rods. Since the actual pair was released in 1999, it only made it right. Nike did bring them back again in the year 2002, but for this custom, I'll be sticking to the 99 release pair just because again, it feels right to me. The only two main differences that I spotted between the 99 and 02 pair was the different material swoosh they used and the height between the two. For the logos on the heel and the tongue tag, I'll be using a Cricut machine, Angelus acrylic paint, flat black, pale yellow, yellow. Comparing these two tones of yellow are completely different, which you can see here. Orange, gray, golden artist colors, GAC 900 fabric, painting medium, Dr. Bronner's 18 in one soap, measuring tape, masking tape, one ounce mixing jars for paint matching, glass droppers, paint brushes, plastic red cup for water. Since this is a simple custom, I won't be using acetone. I'll be using Dr. Bronner's soap just to clean the hill area for the logo. Since the shoe is from 1999, some paint chipping is present on the black collars and on the swoosh. I'll be leaving those alone just to give it that character and also to give it that look of an actual pair of the Wu-Tang Dunks. As for the second part, I would need to customize the Nike tongue tag. So what I'm doing is I'm using a measuring tape to measure the tongue tag and get a scale for the logo. After measuring the tongue tag, I went to Google Images and searched for a Wu-Tang logo. I saved that image and then I took it to Photoshop to work on. Second, since the logo is stitched on the heel panel, it's different than the tongue tag. The the tongue tag, it's a straight smooth line while the stitch logo on the heel, it's more of a jagged line. Since I wanted to make it look as close as possible to the actual pair, I got some images on Stadium Goods website. I then took those images into Photoshop, then started to count the threading on the back and heel air just to get an idea of the scale for the logo. Afterwards, working on both Wu-Tang logos, I opened both images that I worked on into the Cricut Machine program. After letting the Cricut Machine do its thing and cut the logos for the vinyl, I cut it accordingly to its size for both the tongue tag and the heel area. Since I knew the right placement for the logo in Photoshop, I applied that same method on the actual sneaker by using the masking tape as a guideline for the stencil. Then I used transfer tape for the stencil to apply on the sneaker. I'm just using a mini spatula tool to help me stick to the sneaker. After having the correct placement and transfer tape removed, I'm just using the flat black paint to paint on the sneakers for the Wu-Tang logo. I also used a heat gun to speed up the drying process. After doing about five to six coats of black paint, I went ahead and remove the stencil. I realized I should have just did about two to three coats rather than five to six coats of black paint. What I'm doing is I'm trying to fix it since it just doesn't look right and I'm just using an exacto knife to help me fix this issue. So I decided to make a bigger logo using a stencil and paint over it. But since I didn't like the results, I used an X-Acto knife to scrape off the black paint since it's thin and can be easily removed. So this is what it currently looks like at the moment after removing it. I did about two to three coats of black paint. And this is what it looks like right now after that issue. So to fix the imperfections, I'm just using a small fine detail brush and the black paint. And after fixing the imperfections, I'll be doing the same thing to the right you.
for the tongue tag it's a different shade of yellow more on the lighter side so i'll be paint matching to get that right yellow tone i'll be using a one ounce plastic mixing jar and a glass dropper to help me get that right color of yellow i start off by using a pale yellow base coat and slowly add the color yellow orange and gray as for a helpful tip in paint matching is definitely writing down what you added and what color base you use and that's pretty much what you see here i'm also making sure that i'm okay with the desired results or if i need to change the tone of yellow after getting the correct yellow paint mixture for the tongue tag i'm using another mixing jar i'm doing a 50 50 ratio of the black paint and the gac 900 so what i'm doing first is i'll be using masking tapes on the sides of the tongue just to make sure i don't get any paint on any areas i don't want then apply the black paint mixture after painting the tongue tag black for its base i have the wu-tang logo on a straight smooth line as a stencil and just using the masking tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move and using the paint mixture to paint the logo and after about 15 to 20 coats of yellow paint mixture i just went ahead and removed the masking tape and stencil off afterwards i used the 50 50 black paint ratio to fix any imperfections on the tongue tag all right that wraps up everything on this simple and fairly easy custom on the 99 goldenrod dunk highs into the wu-tang dunks let me know what you guys think about this custom down below in the comments section again like and subscribe if you haven't thank you so much again for watching i do appreciate it i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then it's gonna be good